you, you stated in the liner notes there, at least for the first album, that uh, it was recorded over a period of about two years, from 1978 to 1980? Uh, 77 to 1980. 77 to 80? Yeah. And you said something about... Uh, Recording only or waiting for something special to happen. Yeah. Uh, wh what exactly were you referring to? Um, <clears throat> basically, the more you, the more I try, the more I try to uh, do something, the more unable I am to do it. Mm. Because I'm mm. trying so hard to mm. do it. It's like anything, I think. Mm. Mm. So, <clears throat> I really want to write. I, I really want to write music. Um, and so I sit, I sit in my studio mm. for weeks on end, you know, uh, working and trying to write pieces of music. And uh, I get more and more frustrated because I can't do this. And then one day I, I sort of. One day I'm not trying. Somebody comes around the studio, musician, friend, or something, and we having a conversation and just social. Mm. And one of us picks up an instrument and starts to play, and the other one picks up an instrument and starts to play. And then suddenly something's happening. Mm. Um, you're not trying to make music; you're just making music. Mm. And waiting. And so in a way, when I'm working. <coughs> I'm really waiting. I'm waiting to forget. Mm -hmm. And when I forget, then I flow. Mm. So I step out of the way. Because mm. it's like, I suppose, I suppose it's like my, my, my sense of me, I, stand in the way of the music. Mm. Mm. And uh, it's only when I stand aside, mm. somehow. Mm. That I forget myself mm. Mm. that the music happens. Mm. Mm. You will know. There's something special I talk about is when I stop thinking and start being. So you stop, stop thinking and you're just doing rather than thinking. I don't know. 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 教育はね、かなり受けていらっしゃるはずなんで Although you see had quite a bit of experience in education in terms of uh, electronic music you don't seem to handle it very much in uh, Penguin, is there? No, it's uh... It's just the way it happens, you know, I can uh, I, I can use electronics but uh, I just don't um, but for instance, I use the ring modulator. I understand very well the ring modulator, and it's a very important piece of equipment to me. Um, basically, I like physical sound sources. I don't like electronic sound sources. I might use a little bit, but uh, I think there's a, it's difficult to be sensitive with electronics with synthesized it's difficult to have the feeling you know if you're playing an instrument you have contact with the string mm -hmm. or you've got something you're hitting like a stick or something and you feel you feel somehow with it on the string you can feel the string and you can really very fine feeling you get the synthesizer you have it's electronic controls, and therefore you're controlling it really with your head, mm. because in order to get, you have to think a lot. Mm. Synthesizers. Mm. Uh, some people, some people can get uh, quite a lot of feeling from a synthesizer, but I've yet to hear very sensitive. Uh, Heart music from a synthesizer. Just hmm. out of curiosity, what's the ring modulator there? What sort of a ring modulator? It's a um, it's kind of an electronic process. You have two inputs. Mm -hmm. One is the instrument, and the other one is the sine tone, hmm. which is a pure, pure 
you know, a pure signal. Mm. And these two sounds combine and produce uh, <coughs> what's, what are called uh, resultant notes, mm. which are uh, summation and difference. So if you have a, uh, uh, a frequency that you're putting in of uh, 150 cycles per second, and the ring, and the ring modulator to sine tone is tuned to 200 cycles a second, the result you get is 150, 200, 50, you get one of just 50, which is the difference between right, the two, right, right. and you get one of 350. Hmm. So Some 1 plus 1 equals 4 in that case. Hmm. Hmm. So what kind of sound do you end up with? Um, was bigger. What does it sound like? <coughs> big. big. Yeah, a big sound. And then you have to use it. You have to yeah, use very specific notes. Mm. You, see, you seem to be using a lot of instruments on the album there, though, like... Uh, mm. Does that sound familiar? Dulcetone. Yeah, Dulcetone. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just wondering, what is your uh, criteria for selecting your instruments there? Uh, they're just... They're when, I, when, I, when you think about sound, you know, generally, and what it is. Uh, the instruments I collect are instruments which have different specific characteristics. Uh, you've got uh, the dulcet tone um, has bars, metal bars, mm -hmm. which are struck uh, by a hammer mm -hmm. with a keyboard. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> so it's a struck instrument, but it has this nice sort of ringing tone. That's, I just like it. It's, mm. it's, 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 it's a nice sound. Mm. Um, every instrument I use, because of its the quality of its, its mm. quality, it's something I've found and I like, mm. and somehow I can use it as part of my equipment for making this music. I want to show that skill. Yeah. Compliments there on the record because it says you know you use so many instruments, but you manage to avoid any sort of dissonance uh, in the instruments. You notice there's none of that dissonance at all yeah. in your music, yeah. so uh, yeah. he just wanted to pay his uh, respects. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps a bit more commercial. Um, yeah, just not, not an intention at all. Mm -hmm. When I was making the album, uh, I had, I had no record deal, there was, there was no money, nothing involved. It was just my, I was making a record purely what I wanted to do, only, without any any commercial motive at all. I never ever have changed what I'm doing in order that it would be more attractive or appealing. It's purely, as it, it's, it's, the music is just actually really as I want it. Mm -hmm. um, so if it sounds more commercial, that's uh, fine by me. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not a bad thing. It's yeah. not a good thing. It's just a fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Mm. In the second album, you don't have very many vocals on it. But right. I'm wondering of the the role of uh, lyrics in your music. There is that a very. Um, <laughs> When I listen, when I listen to uh, when I listen to uh, records, if there's a voice singing, I don't, I don't really hear the words. You know what you mean? Yeah. I'm not really interested in the words. Um, <coughs> occasionally, you find someone who's really brilliant, and the words actually come out and force themselves yeah. on you. But most words are pretty uninteresting. Yeah. Um, I'm interested in using the voice. And in the future, I think I will use the voice more. Hmm. Um, but whether it's just sounds or whether it's words, hmm. I, like the f on the first album, there's two songs, hmm. and those songs are they're poems written by uh, Neil Rennie. And somehow I could set those okay because they're so the words are so heavy, these great big heavy things which sort of float around. Hmm. Um, 
there is the point, I mean, if I wanted to interfere with this with my head, I would say that uh, if, if this, I like instrumental music because it's really universal hmm. and there's no language problem. Hmm. Hmm. But that's not really my reason. It's hmm. just, that's just a sort of by the by. I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not kind of vague, but uh, how do you view live performances? I mean, mm. your philosophy, uh, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's he, he of the understanding that you don't perform live very often. Right. Um, well, I think for us to play live occasionally is very healthy. Mm -hmm because it brings us into the into the world mm. a bit more. It's like uh, we're showing that what we're talking about isn't uh, an illusion that you can only create in the privacy of your own home, mm. uh, that we are, in fact, able to play this music live. Mm -hmm. And I think that's an important perspective to get on the music. Mm -hmm. um, so in that respect, I, th I think it's important for us to play live, just not very much. Mm. Uh, I, I don't like it. I'm an introvert myself, and I don't... Uh, just getting up on a stage in front of sort of a thousand people uh, exhausts me. Mm. Um, so I, I like it and I don't like it. Mm. And I think it's necessary, and I think it's healthy. Are you saying it's healthy for the, for the listener of your music? I think it's, it's, it's healthy for us. I think it's healthy for me because uh, uh, I get feedback from the audience and uh, encouragement. Um, I like... I think it is possible to play live and I think there's something which is unique in playing live. And I really... I enjoy it. I, it makes me very nervous and I enjoy it. You know? it's, it's, so I think it encourages me and, and helps, uh, mm. and gives me new ideas and uh, a new perspective. And I think it gives the listener a new perspective mm. on what's going on. Mm. Mm.